Hello everyone, Owen Jennings here, your spiritual guide coming in with the energies of the week from today the 4th of November until Sunday the 10th of November. Hope you are all well. So as you know, if you watch me regularly, this is your weekly kind of forecast as to what's going on energetically and what you might be picking up on or feeling so that you can navigate your week ahead knowing um, how to use the cosmic energy that's around, how to understand it, how to um, understand maybe why you're feeling a certain way because we're always, you know, we're all part of um, the big universal picture and we we, we are influenced by the cosmic energies um, and they impact us. Sometimes we don't always realise how much. And, you know, if you've been paying attention this year, they, uh, there have been some very intense en energies around. But you will be glad to know that this week feels quite peaceful. There is not too much planetary activity that's going to cause you too much trouble um, so it's a really good week to slow down doesn't mean stop but to slow down and integrate integrate your learnings integrate where you are now understand and reflect on what you've been through um, there is something happening in terms of Mars going into Leo where it's going to be until June next year and there's a time at which it's retrograde as well and this basically means that we need to work out what it is in our lives we want to take charge of because Leo is a fire sign, it likes action, Mars is fiery when it goes retrograde, it's looking for us to work out what we need to do inwardly so that we can manifest outwardly. So this is going on until June, I think, next year. That's what I read. And that will have an impact. Um, and it's going into Leo today, I think. So you might be feeling that. You might be feeling that. There's always, you know, there's a chance as well to to really just say no and let go of stuff this week um, walking away from negativity there's also a sense of um, reaping the rewards of your efforts so it's, it's a nice week and maybe you can tell that from the way I'm talking to you I'm feeling quite calm um, even though this is my launch week for my oracle cards and I'm really not calm. But um, yeah, no, I'm feeling quite calm and serene. Um, or at least that is the way I'm feeling today. So it's a gentler energy this week, which I'm sure we all appreciate. Um, morning, Regina. Oh, thank you very much. Um, yes. Um, they will be available later this week so take some time this week if you can you know we all got a really fast pace well most of us do I don't always but most of us do and um, even if you can't stop and reflect maybe you could just slow down slightly sort of notice what's going on around you is also coming in quite strongly you know, I'm just looking out my window here and I can see like the leaves on the trees are really falling to the earth now. And, you know, so nature is letting go and nature is giving back to the earth. It's starting again. And that's kind of where we are. But of course, we're starting again from a different, from a different place. Um, you know, we're starting from a different place. We're taking all our learnings, we're taking all our wisdom and we are um, starting from this place of knowing more about what we want 
and what we don't want and that's really important so it's a good week to really reflect on that and yes as Regina's saying there we may well feel we've outgrown certain people or situations so I'll just bring in my um, guide see if they've got anything further to say or to suggest for you for this week um, because there's bound to be more incoming um, planetary activity um, which may well affect us next week so let's just take what we're being given this week so um let's see hello hello everyone it's a pleasure to be here as always so yes um a quieter week on the planet tree front um there are a couple of things going on as always mentioned one of them is mars moving into leo so you may feel that sort of energy of wanting to get things done wanting to put some fire into your projects or your life but it's also mars is messing, not messing around but it's going direct and then it's going retrograde and it's going to be in leo till about june we under, uh, next year so what is it you need to do to um, take what what is it you want to take charge of in your life it might be financial matters it might be personal matters it might be professional matters and then looking at what you need to do to be able to take charge to take the actions that you need to take to enable you to get to where you want to be um, so it's and when it goes retrograde, that's all about looking within as well, which might sound a bit dull. But actually, you need your inside to be on board. You know, it, you need to really feel and believe in yourself. You really need to feel and believe in your dreams. You need to really feel and believe in the action steps you're needing to take. Because that's the only way you're going to manifest in the outer world if you have any doubts if you you're having trouble with your self-worth if you're um uncertain and your ego is maybe getting in the way then it's harder to manifest what you truly want what you truly um desire there could be some letting go and some endings this week um as well like naturally it doesn't feel forced it's just um maybe you've outgrown situations or places or people and it's just time to naturally let them go a lot of you have upgraded as it were energetically on your ascension journey and and, and just you know you've just grown things have happened to you you've learned from them and that can mean that sometimes you're not on the same page as maybe a friend or a boyfriend or a husband or a partner or a wife or whatever anymore um and it's not that well, it, you may work things out but it's not it's okay to outgrow these people it's also okay to outgrow situations and you know maybe a job or a, a business um or outgrow the way you've been dealing with things in the past right so there's definitely change on the menu but this week gives you a chance to really um, take some time to slow down to integrate everything that you've learned to really hold space for yourself like rest if you need to a lot of you are really tired and it's no wonder so just allow that and this week is going to allow that for you because as Owen and we have said there is not that much going on in the skies this week um also uh, for some of you you will be re re reaping the rewards of your success is this week um so at the same time as letting go you'll be congratulating yourself so there it is you know it, it is a really 
a positive week really because what you're doing is you're moving yourself forward in a more aligned way yeah so and in a way that's that you feel happier with and that's the sense we're we're picking up and you know really go as we've been saying for a long time <laughs> um go with your intuition and how you feel more than what your ego in your head is telling you right and you won't go wrong so definitely spend some time this week with yourself don't need to rush this week um and just think of it as getting yourself ready for what might be incoming because we're fairly certain there are more planetary activities and cosmic energies that will be needed to take be taken into account from next week onwards so you know use this time to sort of fill your cup so that you're ready um and you're ready as a different person because you're definitely different from how you started the year so we wish you a peaceful week really um well, we, we always wish you a peaceful week, but a really peaceful one. Um, Saturday has a bit more of a dynamic energy about it. I mean, you may also, uh, the weekend, feel a little bit, you know, you might fall back into the old habit of questioning yourself, whether you're good enough, but just know that you are, all right? And it's just that things have shifted for you, so you're getting used to the new you and that's okay all right so we wish you a wonderful week and we'll be back next week okay so um sounds quite good doesn't it um i think that was about it um yeah and watch out for notifications about my oracle cards that should be with me this week they were meant to be here today but there's been a delay um but they should be here this week and I'll be um, having my launch party on Thursday um, on Zoom which is really exciting. You're welcome Regina, thanks for being with me. Um, thanks for watching whether it be live or on the replay and I wish you a wonderful week ahead. Bye for now.